Da, 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 da. As per usual of big franchises, to whatever degree that might be, I mean, Avatar, I would say, is still establishing itself, other than being the top or, or top garnering film within the box office slate in terms of the most money coming in. I, I still don't know how that is. Because based on my viewing of the first movie, I'm kind of like, well, you know, maybe the visuals impressed a lot of people. It didn't really convince me until the second half. But the story I thought was like kind of just, you know, average. Maybe it's the visuals, again, that really bring people in. And again, I have to rewatch the film because it was several years ago when I looked at Avatar, specifically for the reason as to why this film was so successful. And I still don't know if I've answered the question fully or even if I'm ever going to get a solid answer. I think time will tell with the new movie coming out. But like ever big or, or establishing franchises, we have expansions into other media. We have a video game extension for Avatar, which doesn't surprise me based, again, on the, the prominence and the, uh, uh, the recognition of the visuals. Video games are great at that. And here we've got Frontiers of Pandora, which I'm not sure yet if this is considered canon to the story, if this is like a story expansion, but at the very least, it's featuring the world of Avatar out of video game presentation. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the release as I am, this is what it says according to IMDB for a synopsis of the game. Players will take the role as uh, Navi to explore and embark on a journey in a never-before-seen part of Pandora, the Western Frontier. Okay, so there's a bit of originality here, but I'm sure it's going to fit the visual style with the, with the film. That's probably the basis of the game, that people are so invested in the world of Pandora um, from a visual perspective as well. I know, again, film is subjective. Some people might have really liked the impression. Again, as I said, it didn't really fool me until the second half. I'm like, okay, now it looks good. Other than that, I was like, it's just a bit glossy in my opinion. I, the visuals just aren't meshing that well with the VFX. Of course, they're going to be better now with time because it's been how many years since the first Avatar release? So they've made how many technical advancements? Um, but, you know, from what I've heard as well with Pandora and that world in regard to that, I forget where it is, but it's at some theme park ride. Maybe people are just really invested with being in this environment that now you've seen that being the main entrance as to why it's carrying over into the video game space. Who knows? Or again, it could be just a broad and outreach for Avatar, sort of like a subtle advertisement that there's a new movie coming and we now have video games to expand that vision, right? Other franchises have done this, Jurassic World, Fast and Furious, and many other, there's bigger ones as well that have done the same thing. It doesn't surprise me that Avatar is doing it too. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first look trailer. I've got two videos I'm going to look at for this. Um... I think they're going to be, well, um, no, we're going to look at them both here, because I think in, in terms of getting a proper insight, yeah, we'll just go from one to the next. So this is the first look trailer. This, I'm sure, is just much more of a preliminary first glance, uh, of, be it like a three-minute one. Here we go. So that's pretty substantial in length. It's bigger than most, or most ever average teasers for the video game uh, format. Okay, looks good. Good frame rate, I think. I would imagine nowadays it's going to be 60 instantaneously. Like, you really have to make the world come alive. And again, because it's been several years, there's parts of us I've forgotten. I think the species is the Navi, right? Or is it the character? It's developed by Ubi or, or Ubisoft, so there's some recognition there. The creatures look nice. We've made so many advancements just like in the cinema world and the video game space, and the world of Pandora is beautiful. I'll state that. And it looks heavily inviting. Is this just sort of gonna be like a, uh, like a surreal open world action thriller? Maybe some people will just be like, hey, this is like a pleasure cruise for um, uh, imagined nature. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> okay, is this like the story conflict? Okay, here we go. Bringing the humans in. Again, there's details I've forgotten about. So forgive me. I stated with the uh, the way of water. I'm gonna go back and review the the film. Maybe not. Well, I don't know if I'll review. Maybe I'm thinking about bringing those back, but um, I'll go back and watch the film. So I'm sure things here will make much better sense upon a rewatch. It has been so much time. It looks good from an action standpoint too. 
So the gameplay might be great. I mean, as somebody who wasn't as invested in the story, maybe the gameplay will just, it'll um, shake my experience and be much more meaningful. It's coming out for the new consoles, so not the older ones. They're going, you know, all out, I guess, to just get all the technical upgrades that they can to really make the Pandora world manifest itself in such an opulent and beautiful way. I mean, that makes sense. It's coming out sometime this year. I would probably imagine they're going to do this to, in a way that it coordinates with the release date of the movie, the the new one, Avatar, or The Way of Water. I wouldn't be surprised about that. Um, good vision overall, I think. Again, maybe it's just it, it, the primary thing here. It is just the world of Pandora. Maybe it's just so visually enchanting. And I think it works better within the video gaming space, to be honest with you, than it did in the movie. Again, like I said, I was split on the overall illustration first, originally with that main release. Maybe with the second film, it'll be even better. Um, maybe it'll be more unified in terms of that you watch the film and it feels like every angle of it, from every point of the film, the visuals really do land. I think of a video game, it's much easier to get that, especially how far we've come into in, in technology and manifesting a world so beautiful as um, Pandora here. I mean, I won't deny that it's gorgeous. It'd be a very, it's gonna be like a very scenic environment to play around in. And you know, we'll have to see how the gameplay functions because this, this is much more like on the story level and just get you in the atmosphere of Pandora. Let's hear about um, some of the intentions behind the behind the game. And maybe this will better illuminate some of the gameplay features, too. So we're going to look at the Snowdrop Tech Showcase. Again, I, I like to look at featurettes in this channel. I like to get as best perspective as I can. Not necessarily spoil myself ahead of the release, but to best understand the vision of the artists and where they're coming from. Maybe this will help me better appreciate the world of Avatar, because presently I'm still kind of like, I don't know if this thing has legs to be like a big franchise, but maybe Ubisoft can help that manifest so the movie can't fully deliver. So who knows? I mean, I know Disney probably really wants them to, or wants us project i mean they're putting this again in the placement of uh, star wars release dates but i just don't know yet let's take a look though let's get a better perspective the world of avatar that james cameron and his team at lightstone brought to life is epic in so many ways it's brimming in the life, second half <laughs> it's by luminescent at night and it's majestic in scale as it is rich in details as the world of Avatar is so different from anything we've done before, we had to do some major upgrades and big improvements to our engine. In the past, Snowdrop allowed us to build That's a cool bug. I'm not as familiar with, Ubi with uh, Ubisoft. I haven't played many of their titles. To push Snowdrop I know their name. Further. We have created the Pandora that you can experience from the deep, dense jungles on the ground to the grand vistas high up in the skies. So with Snowdrop, using the microdetail system, we can propagate thousands of assets in one frame. This allows us to have a lot more highly detailed environment for Pandora. For the game, That's we deserved. created a varied amount of vegetation using automated placement, and this is significantly more objects than we ever had before. So by it feels large. the ability test into the GPU, we can now... It feels expansive, I mean, again, I think that's an asset. So the advantage to the, of Snowdrop is that if this does anything, I think it's going to embolden perhaps interest in the more film. Life to the vegetation of Pandora, if not, exceed it, maybe. That can be affected by the player, if the second the film can't simulations and fully or explore that vision. reacting to your presence. We don't just explore jungles on the ground, we also get to fly our bunch. So we added a new volumetric cloud system in Snowdrop to improve the visual quality of our sky. With ray tracing, we can now illuminate Pandora in a way we never could before. This way we can have real light reflect from the emission and the bioluminescence coming out from the plants. I mean, it looks Pandora great. more vibrant and more realistic. Real-time ray tracing allows us to greatly improve lighting in our game. Ray traced global illumination and reflections make our game appear more naturally lit. And if anything, this feature just points to again the Even technological advances we've made. I mean, I'm not I'm not an expert in terms of game design. The different activities that NPCs but I can can definitely appreciate the, the work that's gone into making this world they have come make alive. The world feel really alive. So for Avatar: Frontiers of Pandora, we wanted to take this one step further and created a system where our NPCs understand the state of the world. For example, weather, player progression, or time of day. 
The teams at Ubisoft have done a fantastic job improving Snowdrop. In every project we do, we push the engine further. But Avatar Frontiers and Pandora is without a doubt the biggest leap we made so far. And we believe it will provide our players with a truly immersive Avatar experience on the new generation of hardware. I think that's what people are going to be looking for, Chief, including me. And I think the video game format might better deliver on that if the second film can't deliver. Because again, that's that first time I need to go back and rewatch it, but I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I just don't see it yet. Either way, I mean, it's a 20th Century Pictures project. Used to be Fox. So I appreciate that at the very least. But I'm, I'm kind of like, because I, I like to see that studio still, you know, get the, get the name affiliation it should be. And not just be like, oh, you know, Disney takeover completely. But I just don't know if a story yet warrants that level of attention that other franchises have had because again I think that first one was a bit rusty. Maybe on a second watch it'll be better. Maybe if I watch it on blue I watched it on DVD first, so maybe the resolution just wasn't as good for me to appreciate the visuals. Because as I said the first half just didn't convince me. But the second half was better. I think the video game format is going to help manifest the world of Avatar. I would easily attribute that, even if again maybe the story we'll have to see with the story. Again I thought that was one of the weaker points of the film. But the game doesn't look too bad. Um, I know Ubisoft is a top tier studio, so maybe maybe this will be a good expansion. We'll have to see in the future, but at the very least, I think it's a good illustration of what we're seeing so far. What are your guys' thoughts of Avatar Frontiers of Pantor? Maybe you're a little more familiar with the title than I am. Again, as I've stated, this is very much your first impression. And maybe if you have a better sense of Avatar as well as a property, and maybe why it got to the box office position number one overall, feel free to fill in details on that because I'm still puzzled about it. But um, the game itself, maybe this could better aid Avatar and be something unique. Because as I said, there's a lot of franchises expanded in the video gaming space. It's really becoming a big staple these days. Um... Maybe this could really help because again, if the film... It, it, again, film is subjective. And maybe Avatar has really enticed some people. Maybe it has them. I think the world of Pantora overall is a beautiful illustration of a very picturesque uh, paradise. I think this game could help as a good supplement. And maybe could even exceed the film. We'll have to see in time, but um, the world of Pantora is beautifully realized here, admittedly. So if anything... It's the visuals, I think, in terms of the video game that'll bring me in. I thought the sequel uh, film looked good, too. I'm just, again, basing my knowledge on that original movie. But I think it could be unique. I mean, I've never really seen a, a franchise in terms of video game expansion prioritize manifesting its vision, especially so early. Usually when the franchise has been established for long enough, like, for example, Fast and Furious, Jurassic World, those have both expanded into the video gaming space, but Avatar is still bringing about its full realization apart from just one movie. Right, we're only we're not even into the first installment of a four film sequel line yet. So this is still like the precipice of emerging the franchise. We'll have to see what happens with Avatar overall. I think the game paints to a promising future, at least on a video gaming perspective. The movie, we'll have to see in terms of how that materializes. I think the game overall looks promising. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.